Hi, I'm Dr. Rasya Dikshit from Dr. Dikshit Clinics, Bangalore. Male pattern hair loss, it's an evolving challenge. And what happens in male pattern hair loss is that there is a premature aging of the scalp and there is a continuous miniaturization of the hair follicles. That means on every day, the hair is getting targeted by the testosterone, which is the normal hormone in the body of the men. And that makes the signal of making the hair thinner and thinner and thinner. The two drugs which are um, approved by US FDA for the treatment of male pattern hair loss are minoxidil and finasteride. But they come with a clause. As long as you are on minoxidil or finasteride, the effect of those blockers, of the dihydrotestosterone blockers, make sure that the testosterone is not able to reach the hair follicle receptor. That means when you are not on the treatment, whatever hair has been sustained because of minoxidil or finasteride is going to be lost. The hairs which were not sustained are continuing to grow. So definitely after you stop your medicine, there is going to be a shedding of the hair, which is why it is not recommended to abruptly stop both of these medicines. If you are planning to stop the finasteride or minoxidil, do it with consultation with your dermatologist. They can give you non-minoxidil, non-finasteride options to prevent the abrupt hair loss which happens following finasteride use. The side effects of finasterides are known to stop as soon as you stop the medicine as well. So there is no prolonged sexual side effects after you stop finasteride.